Hello everyone, and welcome to a beautiful Easter. Did you see that bird? That bird was from our bird feeder that's right around the corner. In fact, let me see. Do, do, do. You guys probably got to see our little bird feeder right there, the one that I have on the window that like is on my office. So when I talk about it and I mention that it's three stories up, I really do mean that it's three stories up. But that's our cute little bird feeder and it is a beautiful Sunday. It is a beautiful Easter Sunday and it is rainy and gorgeous and look at this tree. I have wanted to show you guys this tree for so long. This beautiful tree outside my window, this is outside our bedroom window, outside our kitchen window, outside our office window because it's all the same side of the house and it's just so pretty. And I just love this. I love the peaceful look of the lake over here while the rain is coming down. I love just the whole feeling of spring all over the place. I love the random children screaming in the park. It's just it's beautiful here and there's so many birds and there's so much bird song. I'm looking at a, a tohi right now. I'll have to show you guys some of that but I just wanted to show you how pretty it is outside right now even if my beautiful spring plants and one fell off the edge. I have to go get it later. But even if my beautiful spring plants have finished their bloom, that's okay. Hyacinths don't have a very long bloom. And some of my other plants are starting to use up their bloom. But good news, you guys, we actually have some sprouts in our pot. And we're going to be looking at those a little bit closer um, pretty soon. But yeah, so, okay, today is the day where the Easter UHC has gone up on the main channel. And I have been dying with excitement to share that with you guys for ages now. Oh my gosh. And Chips is probably going to decide where we're going to be moving for his PhD in the next couple days. So I'm really excited. So he's picking between Penn State and Pennsylvania. He's picking uh, between Ann Arbor, Michigan and Madison, Wisconsin. And I'm pretty sure Wisconsin is out because uh, they don't have like any funding for their grad students right now because things are weird over there right now. So yeah, you guys are going to find out where Chips and I are going to be living for the next six to seven years, which would be amazing. I won't have to move anymore. I won't have to move every year. So that's coming up soon. And I just thought I would do a quick little vlog to show you guys the really awesome gifts. I'm like bouncing on my feet. I'm so excited. Also, look at this. Oh, my little pearls. Ah, oh, that's before I went vegan. So I probably wouldn't pry open a clam and think it's pearls anymore. But I got this pearl necklace at my best friend's wedding four, maybe five years ago at Disney Epcot. First time I ever went to Disney. <laughs> and we only went to Epcot because it was for her wedding. And like it was pretty much all adults there. But I got twin pearls from a clam there. And it was one of the most awesome experiences ever. But yeah, I thought I'd wear that today. Can you hear all the happy birds? Isn't that so cool? Oh my goodness. But yeah, so yesterday was my 28th birthday. Today has been my first day as a 28 year old. How did I get so old? I don't know. I'm not sad about it. It's just surreal because you're kind of like, wait, wow, this is it. This is happening. This is life. And I am so happy with where I'm at. But yeah, so I got some cute little gifts, including uh, some things from you guys, from people who sent stuff into the P.O. Box. My parents sent their love, their wishes, and a little bit of money for me to be able to buy myself a gift. And I'm debating, like, what I should get or not with my personality. I just stuck it into savings, and I'm like, oh, wait, I'm supposed to spend that on something? I don't need anything. How do I buy just random things for my own fun. So maybe I'll get more Warrior Cats books uh, with it or something like that. So we'll figure it out. But I'm going to show you guys what Chips' mom actually got me for my birthday and just kind of glance over the really cool things that some people got me, uh, like to the P.O. Box. I have two packages I think that I need to pick up in the morning from the P.O. Box, which is like, oh my gosh, people actually like wanted to send me something. It's still the most like surreal feeling. And I really hope that streak of like humility where you're like, oh, wow, to even just get like a doodle from a little kid stays with me for all of my life because it means so much. Like I've always been one of those people who kind of makes a big deal about getting presents, uh, not because I want gifts, but because it's like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. My mom always said growing up that she loved giving me gifts because it could be like a candy bar, like a candy bar just that she picked up on the way home that day. And I would just like freak out over it and I'm not trying to, it's just like my personality. So I'm really happy, I'm really happy that I, I have that part of me and I'm babbling. So let's go inside and I'll show you guys the cool stuff that we got. And yeah, today, <laughs> today I finally got to show you guys the Easter UHC. It has been um, the biggest honor to be invited because I still feel like I'm a baby YouTuber and I'm still kind of like, wow, wait, 
I'm able to pay my rent every month with what I'm doing, like with the stories I'm telling, and <laughs> that's really weird. Uh, that's really, really weird uh, still, and you're constantly expecting to wake up from it, and it just being like an accident that you're doing this, and an accident that you're here, and it's still happening, and then like people who I consider like big names, like, whoa, I know their names better than celebrities and things like that, I actually got to work with. <laughs> And it was amazing, and everyone was just as friendly as I was hoping they were, because sometimes you're like, what if I meet them, and it turns out that they're really jerks, and there was a music band I saw, the only concert I ever went to, and it turned out, like, the people who were there, and they're pretty famous, I won't mention who they were, because maybe I just caught them on a bad day, but they were, like, really mean to me and my friend when we went, so, you know, you always worry, like, what if I meet that person, and then the bubble is popped, and, like, they weren't actually who I thought they were, and I always worry, that's, like, if I ever did a meetup that's how people would feel about me like oh Siri's not really who I thought she was she's really like a jerk and so I think that's why I'm nervous about meetups because I don't want to accidentally say something or like let somebody down um but these people every single person I worked with was friendly and fantastic and it was amazing it was just amazing you guys it was a fantastic experience, and I'm still kind of blown away that I got invited into it. <laughs> and you guys are going to have to watch to see how it goes. No spoilers, no spoilers. It was amazing. It was just amazing. And I'm really proud of myself for doing what I did. And I can't tell you what I did, but I'm really proud for doing what I did for it being like a UHC cause, um, or a C, because I'm not very good at UHC, so we did good. <laughs> I hope. I think. You'll see. Alright, but yeah, let's go inside and I'll show you guys just what I got um, for my birthday from Chips' mom. And also the bunny that he's eating that you guys may have seen in the update vlog over on the main channel. It's already lost an ear. It's really cute. <laughs> Alright, and here we go. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you guys because these are the very first flowers that I have ever gotten from Chips that are cut flowers. And we just, you know, they're so expensive to get cut flowers. And so it's just not really something we've ever done. Um, really, we'll just like... I don't know, we'll go on walks when we want to be a cute couple together. But I love this. These are, I think, called Ireland Bell Flowers. And if you look closely, they're green flowers. And then if you look inside of them... Sorry, it's getting kind of late, so if the light's a little weird, I'm sorry, you guys. I'll get the vlog thing down eventually. But if you look inside of these flowers, you can actually see the tiny, itty-bitty colored flowers that are in them. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to try to get as many pictures of these as I possibly can before they decide that they're done being my beautiful cut flower. So I just really wanted to show these off in detail because just do nice things for the people you love, you guys. I promise you, you will never regret doing something nice and just bringing an extra little thing to something, to someone that you, you really care about. And <laughs> so go, go do something sweet. It doesn't have to be flowers. And even if they didn't react the way you hoped, at least you like increased your your gift giving kindness gratitudeness and then let's see anyway i'm babbling sorry i just these flowers they take my breath and my mind away apparently then of course we have all sorts of gifts from people who sent in p.o box items this is a handmade journal that i'm going to use as one of my joy journals in the future that a wonderful viewer from canada sent to me and i absolutely love it this is one of the most special things i've ever been given handmade journal it's definitely going to be uh what one of my future joy journals and then I've got a couple item slips of things I need to go pick up from the P.O. box and then if we come over here it's the fan book this is the third one two three third scrapbook in two months I have had to start because there's just so much fan art and there are so many pictures and there's so many letters and I absolutely love all of you guys so much and your sweetness the fact that our adventures can have this big an effect on people are just it's amazing to me. Here's my little squick in again. And actually, I put away a whole bunch of things. Sorry if it gets kind of dark over here. Put away a whole bunch of things that people have sent in recently. They've started to find their homes over at my desk. So there's all that. Ah, here's the bunny. So here's the bunny, and Chips has actually already started eating the bunny. So you can see the bunny is now missing an ear. That has happened between recording the update vlog for the main channel and now. So there's the bunny. It's not my bunny, but I thought it was really cute. 
Um, I am reading, do, 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 I tried to like line some things up. I'm reading the, not The Good Lawyer, I have no idea what that book is, but I'm actually reading the third book in the third series of Warrior Cats right now, so that's going great. Here's my joy journal. You guys, the you she and all of that has just absolutely taken up tons of pages in here lately. It's been phenomenal. I love it. And then this is one of the gifts that Chips' mom sent me. So here's another one of my birthday gifts. And this is absolutely so sweet. This is another mug. So she has given me another great mug. I love it. I love how it kind of looks like peacock feathers. It's just so cool. So it's going to be my, my peacock mug. And it's big enough. And uh, Chips actually, like, I think he helped his mom pick some items out. It's big enough to be used either for tea or for the bean soup that we eat all the time and I absolutely love. So I thought that was really, 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 really sweet. So she gave me this. Like I said, my parents also sent... um money for me to be able to get a gift and I just don't know what to get yet and then she also gave me let me come over to my beautiful bookshelf of wonder my warrior cats books here's a picture my mom had commissioned for me from a friend of hers in the Netherlands and this is of my Gullian finches I accidentally dropped some water on it and I was so devastated at first but it turns out that like it added to the watercolor effect chips and I were both staring at it and I was like should I cry about this or should I I'd be okay with this. And we turned to each other at the same moment and we were like, you know what? It actually looks pretty cool because the little water drops actually add a lot to it. Here's the gorgeous, gorgeous drawing. I wish I could do it justice and it's getting too dark to do it justice. But in the future, I will show you guys this again. It is one of my most precious possessions. It is from my mom and it is a beautiful sunflower picture that she drew for me with her Prismacolor set that we got for her um, for, I think, for Christmas. And I just... I love my mom's art. I love that she drew it. And I asked her for a sunflower like this because it reminds me of my mom. Sunflowers remind me of my mom and just the joy and the beauty she brings to my life. So I'm really happy to have that. And then right over here, do do do, this is the other gift that Chips' mom gave me for my birthday. And I just wanted to show this off really quick because I thought it was so pretty. It is a glass plate and you can actually eat off of it. But I had a stand that's actually meant for slices of geodes that was just in storage and I got it, I got it out. I would ideally, I actually want to kind of hang it like on a window and then the colors can be reflected by the sunlight and show up on the ground or against a wall or something. I think that would be really cool. But for now, I have put it over on a stand do 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 on my bookshelf next to the gifts that my mom sent me so that I have this super special like mom corner over here which I really love but yeah those are my birthday presents but yeah guys so those are just my my gifts and I'm not trying to like brag or, or like show them off in a bad way just it's really fun I love seeing vlogs and pictures and and insights into other people's life and the things that bring them joy and happiness and I can promise you my hand is like so tired from writing all of the joy moments that have been going into that journal and it's just been phenomenal and to do the UHC so behind the scenes how does Siri feel about that I feel really humbled. I feel like it was an amazing opportunity and no matter how it turns out or even if I don't have a single new person decide they want to stick around and see my channel and like sub afterward for, as a result, it just feels really great because I feel like my content, the work I put in, the effort, the quality was high enough that people who also make this their livelihood noticed. and. That's really cool because YouTube is kind of like when any other job I worked at, especially nursing, you get feedback on an hourly basis over how you're doing. And YouTube, you get feedback from viewers, but often a lot of people don't understand how YouTube works behind the scenes. So it means a lot to have people who also do YouTube and they do it in the sense where it's their livelihood. And that puts an extra kind of pressure to make sure your content is a certain quality. It means a lot to have some of those people be able to kind of tap your shoulder and be like, hey, Hey, and it just lets you know you might be doing something right. And I really hope I can just keep working really hard because this is so amazing. I wake up every day and I just feel like my life is so full of joy and adventure. And I just, that's why I love sharing it with you guys too. And these little, little silly vlogs where I show you guys the pretty beautiful things that amazing people, amazing people. My life wouldn't be as amazing as it is without the amazing people in it. And just the ability to savor every little fragment of joy. So do that, you guys. Savor it. I really, really, really hope 
if you guys get anything out of how I live, it's that if you can cultivate gratitude into your life every single day, it, it changes everything.